Howdy my friends, my name is Miss Sarah and today we are going to discuss animals, but not just any animals, farm animals. I love farm animals, from galloping horses in the pasture to cute baby lambs in the fields. We're here today to discuss farm animals. And what better way to discuss farm animals other than our photo activity cards? What are those, you ask? That's a good question. Over here, we have two photo activity cards for the day. We have a picture of a horse, as well as a picture of a cow, but not just any cow, a picture of a dairy cow. And we're gonna learn the difference between these two and the similarities. So come join me. Our first photo activity card of the day it's a picture of a horse. Horses are beautiful creatures that come in all shapes and sizes and colors. Horses, similar to you and I, love to be with other horses. Just like we love to be with other people, horses love to be with other horses, and that's what you call a herd. When horses are all together and there's multiple horses, it is called a herd. Male horses are called stallions. Female horses are called mares. Young male horses are called colts. And young female horses are called fillies. And again, when they're all together, they are called a herd. The average domestic horse, meaning the average horse that lives on a farm and is raised by people, lives up to 25 years. That's a really long time for a horse. The fastest recorded horse sprinting was 55 miles per hour. Imagine going onto the freeway and seeing a horse run as fast as your car. That's exciting, isn't it? Horses are amazing creatures. Our next photo activity card of the day is the picture of a cow, but not just any cow. This is a dairy cow. Dairy cows are essential to dairy farmers who use dairy cows to produce milk as well as calves. Similar to horses, dairy cows are communal. They love to live in a herd. They love to live with one another. There's lots of interesting facts about a cow. Did you know that they have four stomachs? Can you imagine when they get hungry, the gurgles that come from their four stomachs? They must eat a lot of food, and it's true. The average cow can eat up to 100 pounds of feed a day. Can you imagine eating 100 pounds of food a day? Sometimes it's hard to finish a sandwich, but these cows love to eat. Similar to horses, they also come in different shapes and sizes and colors, like a Jersey cow that has a brown hide this cow, a dairy cow, has a black and white hide. I'm sure that's the most common that you've seen is a black and white cow. So on our whiteboard, we are going to discuss the similarities between dairy cows and horses. But first, we're going to spell the words dairy and cow and horse. Let's do it together. Starting with dairy cow. Dairy is spelled D A I R and Y. This is how we spell dairy. Now let's spell cow. C O N W. This is how we spell dairy cow. Next, we're going to be spelling horse. Spell it with me. H, which is our special letter of the month, the letter H. O, R, good job, S, and the last letter is the letter E. This is how we spell the word horse. So again, we're going to be discussing the similarities between dairy cows and horses. So let's do it together. 
One of our similarities was how they live. Who remembers how dairy cows and horses live? Do they live separate and far away from each other? Or do they live in a community called a herd? Good answer. They live together. So we're going to write the similarities in the middle. They love to live in a herd. H E R D. This is how we spell herd. So both dairy cows and horses love to live together in a herd with their own kind. What else do dairy cows and horses have in common? What's one place that they both can live? That's right, on a farm. So F, A, R, M. That's how we spell farm. Great job. Okay, let's think of one more similarity between dairy cows and horses that we can write on our whiteboard. Let's think of what they like to eat. What do you see dairy cows and horses mutually eating? Which means, what do you see them eat that's similar to one another? Hey, good job. They love to eat hay, H-A-Y. They love to eat grass. They love to eat lots of things. But these are three big similarities between dairy cows and horses on a farm. Great job. Would you like to read a story with me? Great, here we go. Today's story is called Life on the Farm, Farm Animals. Written by Lynn M. Stone. Many North American farmers raise animals. Farmers raise animals for meat, milk, eggs, and wool. Farmers sell these products to earn a living. Beef cattle, sheep, hogs, and chickens supply most of these products. Long ago, American farmers used some kinds of farm animals to do farm work. Working farm animals are not often used now. Machinery and equipment have taken their place in working the fields. Most modern animal farms raise one kind of animal for sale. A dairy farm raises cattle that give large amounts of milk. A dairy farmer is not likely to raise sheep or hogs too. Farm animals are also called domestic animals or livestock. Farmers have raised domestic animals for thousands of years. Domestic animals are much tamer than their wild cousins. They are used to being around people. The most common farm animals are cattle, horses, sheep, hogs, chickens, and turkeys. A few farmers in North America raise goats, donkeys, rabbits, mules, ducks, geese, and guinea fowl. Farmers raise many breeds of each kind farm animal. Each breed is a little different than the others. The Holston breed of dairy cattle, for example, gives more milk than other cattle breeds. Cattle. Many dairy cattle are raised on small family-owned farms. Most cows on dairy farms are female. Female cows give us milk and cream. Milk and cream can be made into butter, ice cream, cheese, and yogurt. Most beef cattle are raised on big ranches in Florida or the West. Beef cattle are used for meat. Horses. Before cars and tractors, people needed horses. People rode horses from place to place. Draft horses plowed fields and pulled wagons and sleighs. 
Farmers today race horses mostly to ride for fun. A few farmers still use draft horses to pull or plow. Draft horses are heavier than riding horses. They have stronger, thicker legs too. Hogs. Farmers raise hogs for their meat. Bacon and ham are two of the meat products from hogs. Farmers raise hogs in pens, either indoors or outdoors. Pigs outdoors like to stay in mud pools. They also like to poke their snouts into soil to find food. Hogs eat mostly corn and grain, as most farm animals do. Sheep and goats. Sheep are raised for both meat and wool. Wool is the thick, warm hair that covers sheep. Mother sheep are called ewes. Their babies are called lambs. They sometimes have twins or triplets. Goats are close cousins of sheep. Most North American goat farmers raise goats for milk and goat cheese. Young goats are called kids. Poultry. Birds raised on farms are called poultry. The most common kinds of poultry in North America are chickens and turkeys. Turkeys are the biggest farm birds. They sometimes weigh more than 40 pounds. Farmers raise chickens for meat and the eggs they lay. Turkeys, ducks, and geese are raised for meat alone. An Iowa blue breed rooster crows on a poultry farm. Toulouse geese parade across a pasture they share with dairy goats. I wanted to thank you so much for joining us today and learning something new about farm animals together. I hope the next time you see a horse or a dairy cow or even a chicken that you'll remember some fun facts that we learned together today. Bye-bye.